an interesting couple of weeks you've had. <laughs> right? <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, amazing few weeks. Well, yes. it's, I mean, I remember, it's, it's interesting because I remember, I, uh, we've known each other for many, many years, but I, but I remember about six or seven years ago being on a balcony at South by Southwest in Austin. Do you remember? We did an interview there, and, and that, at that point you were the it girl. Or the pretend you were becoming the it girl, and you were there was a media frenzy around you. It was on the occasion of your first record, and and so you've been through this dance before because it feels like you're the it girl again in a whole other, maybe even bigger way. This in the last couple of weeks, does it feel like you're better equipped to deal with it now? Yeah, and I, th- I, th- yeah, and and it's good because you have perspective on what it's like when you're. N- you put your heart into something and the response is, isn't, it's not that it's not good. It's that it's just not, um, as enthusiastic. And, and to be fair, I mean, I guess I feel very validated because I, um, in the last few weeks, because I really worked maybe harder than I ever have in my life musically to try and do something that was me broadening my musical horizon. So, um, so that part feels good. And I do feel more equipped to deal with it. Well, also, I mean, the validation, just to continue to make you feel good about this, is is uh, it's about the music. People are responding to this record. I mean, it's not that you just put out a flashy new video showing your legs or something. You know, it's not, That's, it's not coming. Like, That's coming. Oh, good. Yeah. Because, yeah. But, but you know what I mean? It's, it's a very, it's a very um, it doesn't feel manufactured, the kind of attention that you're getting. It feels very much a, a response to the music, which is really uh, exciting. How was it that you say you you worked harder this time than you have in the past? Um, well, there were just things I wanted to accomplish as just, I think, the way anyone who who grows as a person and wants to try new things creatively does. And um, there were just things I felt like maybe I'd relied on other people to do for me in the past that I wanted to bite off a bigger piece of that apple and things like playing more guitar and, and being more involved in... Um, in the production element of my records. I mean, I've always been involved in the production of songwriting and and so much of the record making, but I think I was very sure about wanting something new for myself. Mm. And it's hard to achieve that when you've done it enough times that you can kind of fall into patterns of making records, right? And you rely on things that you know have worked in the past, and it's really hard to undo that approach in your mind it does feel like you took a particularly long time between records on this one too yeah why was that uh well lots of stuff happened i mean in just in my personal life and and I, i worked a long time just even writing these songs i mean some of these songs were seeds when i was still touring for asking for flowers in 2008 and then it just took a long time to really kind of solidify the ideas that I had. Uh, and, and by the way, you co-produced this record. I should uh, underscore with. Oh, uh, thank you, with, with, with Justin Vernon, yeah, because I, th- I think I said <laughs> produced it. He produced it in the in the intro. No, oh no. Um, you, you've said something about this being. You, you were looking at this record like it might be the last chance for musical success. Uh, really, it felt like that dramatic to you. I mean, you're only you're in your early thirties, right? What what what's the I'm 25. You're 20. Sorry, you're in your mid 20s. <laughs> but why? Why did it feel like uh, the, the last chance for musical success? Well, you know, it's kind of like what you said right at the beginning about being the it girl and 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 that whole concept, which is kind of a silly. You can never really embrace that whole thing you're, as an individual because right. it's very destructive or it gives you false expectations. But when you're a new artist and you've you've made your first record and no one's heard of you, you have an opportunity to make a first impression. And as you put out music, people have already decided what you are as a creative artist or what your sound is. And it's very hard to... Um, to sort of make a new statement um, and to be listened to by people who maybe have already decided what you sound like. And what do you think people had decided about you? Um, that I, you know, like I'm a beauty pageant contestant. And um, <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I, I really fell into this roots rock Americana Canadiana thing, which I absolutely love and adore. And I feel like it was, it's a blessing. I mean, but I, it felt like a cage of some sort. 
Um, well, I think like anyone, you know, if you're held to being described the same way that you were described when you were 25, like any person would feel a little bit like, well, I kind of done some things that I think are better since then. Or you, you grow as a person, you change. And it's hard to come out, um, you know, with a, a music. I, I only know music, so I'll talk about music. But it's hard to put out a record and feel like you can get n people to, who haven't yet paid attention to pay attention or hear you in a different way or in a, see you in mm -hmm. a different light. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is that fair to say? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah I, I think I, I, I when people would, would understand what you're saying about. <clears throat> uh, but it's not negative. Like I don't mean a negative. There's no negative connotation for me of like I've been pigeonholed. I've been boxed in. It's more like I'd really. I think people who go to see that kind of artist would really like me too. And maybe right. they, maybe there's a vehicle for me to access. It's that. it is certainly hard to reinvent or reimagine yourself in the especially in the current media landscape where people do want to put people into boxes. Mm -hmm. And you're, yeah. Uh, um, let me ask you about the personal nature of this record. It, I'm madly self conscious that we don't have a lot of time for an interview because we want you to play another live song, which kind of uh, sucks because I've got a lot to ask you. But it, in, in that song we just heard, a, a lot of Voyager, from a, a lyrical perspective, is quite a naked record. Um, many of the songs chronicle the end of your marriage. Uh, since the record was begun in the in the months leading up to your divorce, I would imagine that's why we hear that a lot in the record. To what degree was writing from those emotions inspiring and how much was what was happening in your personal life hindering? In other words, did all that difficult stuff actually help you make a great record? I mean, it, I remember a friend writing me when she knew things weren't going well for me and, you know, um, saying, I'm really sorry this is you're going through this, it must be really hard, but I, I would imagine that it's going to help you really fuel some great songs that are going to come out of it. And, I mean, I don't mean to diminish, like, m m people are far more important in your relationship, yeah. and uh, connection that way is far more important than, you know, writing songs. Um, but it's my outlet. It always has been, I guess, since I was a kid, and I, 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 I write about things that I know and feel, like... And it sounds cliche, but I, I don't, you know, there are things on this record that I'm looking back and think, wow, it's, there are some things that aren't, that are being interpreted falsely, which is great, you know, that's going to happen. And there are some things I'm like, wow, I is really. Is it great? Because, yeah, because it means that somebody's made a, it, I've, somebody's interpreted something that you've done. I, I think that's perfectly. Is it good. hard to have your personal life out there and to be doing interviews with people asking about it? Yeah. I mean, you feel like you're just the product of your previous relationship and your new relationship you feel you know i'm not the it girl i'm the it girlfriend you know it's like that feels that feels a little diminishing in the fact that i feel like i actually am a competent musician mm. yeah oh, well, oh that's a whole other thing you're talking about now sorry well you're talking about uh, justin now or bon Iver? What are you what are you talking about i was talking about whether the, the details of your last relationship are difficult to be talking about now um, yeah, they are because uh, Colin Cripps uh, is a really great guy, and he doesn't get to sit at the other microphone right. in the Q studio and answer these questions. And either. how does he feel? Have you talked to him? He um, does. Your ex-husband? Uh, yeah. He's a really amazing individual who I love, and who the only thing I care about is protecting his feelings as well through this because it's not easy. Mm. Yeah. Um, and and then very briefly there. Um, uh, we don't have time to get into it any, too much anyway. But but with Justin Vernon, with with Bonnie Bear, who we, you know we're big fans of on this program, and, and I'm thrilled to have had him on regularly. But do you feel like um, does it does it? It was interesting doing research for this interview and, and reading a lot of stuff that's come out of the last couple of weeks where he's the focus of your new record. Uh, you know, in terms of the role he's played, has that been difficult for you because he's such an it boy? And 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 have have you guys had concerns about him overshadowing uh, parts of what you guys have created here? You can't choose what people are going to write and the story people are going to tell. And. Um, I, I've relied on my friend Julie Fader, who's a Toronto musician. She had a great piece of advice for me, which was everyone, there are a lot of records coming out nowadays. Everyone's got a record coming out. And um, and the truth is, for it to for people to understand why 
they should listen to your record, there's going to be a story for context. I'm yeah. sure you're very familiar with context, mm-hmm. Yuan. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, brilliant, by the way. You're brilliant. Okay. Anyway, um, and, uh, and, you know, my story is that I met somebody and uh, they're a musician and our lives became, you know, that we became a couple during the process of making music. Mm. And the only good thing about that being the story is that it's honest and it's true and it's real. And I don't have to feel embarrassed about it. I don't have to feel like I am trying to ride the coattails of somebody else's success. Mm. I'm just, it just happened and it's, and I have to rely on that. Enough said and well said.